welcome to a new weekly vlog. It is Tuesday the 27th of September. We just came back from getting coffee and getting some shopping so I am now finally sitting down to work for the day. I had to tidy up a few things um, with my proposal yesterday so I didn't get to start what this week and what I think the next few couple maybe a couple weeks is it going to be based on um, which is why we're starting the vlog today. So this week we are going to be doing our starting work for the literature review part of the dissertation. If you don't know what literature review is, I don't either. So we're going to learn together. I have got my university page up now. So what I'm gathering from what the university has provided in terms of sources and explanations of the literature review is that the literature review is essentially an essay that you write before your dissertation breaking down and analysing the arguments that have been made in your secondary sources in relation to your topic. So your essay topic, your dissertation topic, your dissertation question, um, you're going to be breaking that down in terms of what you found. So what we'll be doing this week um, is we're basically going to be gathering a basically an outline um, for that literature review, for that essay, just so when we go into writing it, it is the best quality it can ever be. I stand behind outlines before essays 1000 million percent. My entire soul and being believes that you should have a good outline before you go into writing any essay because it will just make your time a lot easier and a lot faster. So that's what we're going to be doing this week since the literature review is not due. There we go. Right, so the literature review is actually due until the 25th of November so we are quite, we're doing this quite ahead of time. So we will be planning out the literature review this week. We'll be getting sources and um, breaking them down and then writing or starting our outline for the literature review because we do have quite a well before we have to submit that so um we'll be doing that this week on top of that i will also be trying to structure out a little outline a very very sketchy outline for my dissertation um just so we have that ready to go because it is recommended that you start working your dissertation like immediately just because it is quite a big chunk of work um so really this week is going to be dedicated to outlining everything. We're going to be outlining absolutely everything. We're going to be gaining, we're going to be doing a lot of research, we're going to be doing a lot of reading, we're going to be doing a lot of basically just gathering information and getting ready to actually do the scary part of working on a dissertation. So um, obviously today is Tuesday. I need to submit my proposal because uh, I still haven't done that. I do have one more thing I need to do for it um, and it is research based so it also fits into the fact uh, that we're doing this. Um, I would also like to set up my Notion page which um, I am using a pre-made template for um, my dissertation work on my Notion page. Um, but now that I've broken down what we're doing um, I am gonna go and get to tidying and then get to researching. So I will update you once we have, I guess once I've finished filling out the Notion page, because at that point we should also have quite a bit of research for going in tomorrow where we will actually be outlining or starting the outline. So anyway, I'm gonna get to researching, I'm gonna go get to tidying up, get to researching, and I'll see you, I guess, in a brief moment.
so it's now the next again night. It is 25 to 9. I just got done work for the day. I was also quite busy earlier on today as well, obviously. So we're just sitting down, but I finally got my proposal sheet all filled in. We have all the secondary sources. We have all the um, outlining that's required for this part of the proposal. Um, I thought we could actually go through this together. So I will go through this just so you can get a brief idea of what you'll be asked <laughs> when you go into your uh, dissertation, into your proposal, like what a proposal sheet actually looks like. Um, and I guess this is probably a good way for us to talk about my dissertation as well, specifically. Um, so you know what I'm doing or what I intend to do with my dissertation. So um, I started off with two questions. My first one is, how does Virginia Woolf link existentialist philosophy to Jung's philosophy of the individual? Um, and then my second one is, what does this link suggest about both philosophies in relation to the mentality of the 20th century post-war society? So those are my research questions. Then I did this little section here talking about what my aim is in terms of my dissertation, uh, what my aim at the end of the dissertation is going to be, uh, what I hope to discover, what I hope to learn from this uh, going into these two questions but basically what it says is my aim is to find links between existentialism and Jungian philosophy of the individual within the works of Virginia Woolf. I will be looking into Night and Day, Mrs Dalloway and to the Lighthouse to discuss the ways in which Woolf explores and connects the two philosophies and puts them into con context of her contemporary society. After that section, um, the proposal sheet the SQA, whoever wrote this proposal sheet, proposal sheet asks you to outline your primary text. So obviously I wrote down, I didn't specify the additions um, like how you would if you were writing a bibliography, I just kind of did it quickly. Um, looking at the other proposal sheets, that is fine. So we have Night and Day, Mrs Dalloway, Into the Lighthouse, obviously all by Virginia Woolf. Um, and then the section below that is methodology. So this is the part that I was struggling with because I we went over it in class. <laughs> I, I forgot what we went over and I did take notes and I was looking at my notes and I was like, this still doesn't make any sense. So I did, I looked it up and I double checked um, and fact checked myself. So um, I, the framework or approach that I will be going with for my dissertation is a theoretical approach because I am specifically talking about a specific theory like existentialist uh, existentialism and um, obviously Carl Jung's philosophy and theories. So um, because of that, my approach will obviously be theoretical. I'm going into these novels with a the theory in mind, um, a pre-established theory such as existentialism in mind, and I'll be using that as a basis of my analysis. Um, so I wrote my approach to the three novels of Virginia Woolf will be theoretical. I'll be using the existentialist theory of Kierkegaard, Nietzsche, Schopenhauer and Dostoevsky, and I'll relate this to theories surrounding the individual from Carl Jung. But after that we have um, that asks you to give like a bibliography um, of all of the of your secondary materials that you've already looked at, that you've already read, already consulted. So um, from this we have the three essays from Virginia Woolf that I got from this book here. This is the Oxford World Classic of Virginia Woolf's selected essays. I found three from here. So we have Modern Fiction, On Being Ill and Street Haunting, A London Adventure. Um, and then after that, I've also said that I'm going to, I've already consulted um, A Writer's Diary, which is in the Persephone Books collection. This is um, Virginia Woolf's Diary. This is edited by Leonard Woolf, so take from that as you may. But um, I have already read some of this, so it is in my already consulted um, list. The next thing I have here is an, uh, an essay from my university library. This is a young Ex existential or not reflections on temporality and everydayness by lads and hinton i'm pretty sure i've referenced from this um person before um so i'm eager to get into this and see um what they have to say about this but below that we have the introduction of nine day and the wordsworth classic edition 
oh dear god so obviously this is the bind up of uh night and day in jacob's room but um i did annotate the introduction from this copy and i do have an annotation flip through for this in case you're interested um on my channel already but um and i did i do show the annotations that i had from the introduction as well in case you're interested in that but that's the introduction i'll be using by dorinda guest and then other than that the only other secondary source that i have already consulted already read is the undiscovered self by carl jung i read that last year and that is basically the premise for what my um dissertations on so so i don't really have too many other plans for the rest of the week obviously it's all going to be dedicated to reading um i'm going to try and get some writing done on my uh project my little secret project um and i'm also going to be ah i need to i need to finish doing the notion page actually for my dissertation so um i guess the next time i'll see you is when i've done that which i fingers crossed will be tomorrow because i don't think i'll have the time to do it on friday but for now i'm gonna go and submit this proposal and i'll see you when my notion page is done which is hopefully gonna be here tomorrow <laughs> So it has been quite a few days. This vlog is going up late. No one's surprised. I think everyone saw this coming. I just didn't think it would be this soon into the dissertation diaries. I really thought we could have a couple weeks of being on time with the vlogs and then we'd start slipping up. But no, we slipped up in the second week. Nevertheless, though, I do think it did kind of work in my favour because we are on Tuesday. It's Tuesday the 4th of October, which is the next again week. And I realised that the literature review isn't actually like to do the literature review right now would be a bit too far and we're about to go through that as I go through my notion page so um I do think that maybe taking a week off which is what we're doing here from vlogging and uploading a vlog within the same week is probably the best way to go so next week we will have a vlog on time and it will be of what we're doing next week so um as i've said we're gonna go through my notion page since i did actually finally finish setting it up it took me days it took me days to fill in all the information to get everything set up and to make it look presentable because i haven't actually touched my notion in weeks months maybe actually months um because i have been so like just I fell out of love quite easily with it, but um, now that I've managed to actually understand how it works, <laughs> I've actually managed to bring it up to a standard where like, I can actually use it when I need to use it, um, we're happy with it again. Notion page is up and hopefully, if it all worked, you will be seeing my personal home for my Notion page on your screen right now. If you want a full Notion tour, let me know in the comments. I would be happy to oblige, especially because I have been working so hard on making this presentable. But um, we have in my personal home this little section here, which is obviously the my university section. So um, all we need right now is this little thesis planning page. And obviously, I think I've said this already, but I am using the template that Notion already provided for the dissertation um for dissertations um so that's why it's called thesis planning i haven't changed anything except from like one thing and it's adding something um but this i might add more i might change more as my dissertation goes on so we'll just bring up the thesis planning and i will center this because this is the first thing we'll be going through so in the thesis planning page you have the option to change the cover and i'm pretty sure i did change the cover or i just didn't have a cover but i put a cover up there because it's nice it's nice to see pretty things <laughs> so um we have a cover so below that we have uh two sub pages here we have topics and sources and notes we'll go through those after we go through the timeline um but obviously below that we have the timeline and there's I think three 
um, options to view your timeline. So I had the table up here. You also have a calendar, which I love because it gives you um, a little indication of how close your deadlines are together, which I mean, this looks kind of, this probably looks very scary to most people. And um, this is March 2023. Let's go back to the present time. So we have the calendar. We also have drafts, which There we go, it took a little minute to um, come up but basically your drafts is just um, a section to show you all of the little deadlines that are coming up as that you've marked down as drafts. So coming back to this, the timeline, the table, um, in the table you get um, a, a series of sections. We have name which is basically the name of your project that you need to complete. We have dates which is the dates that you need to or want to complete them in. Um, a lot of these I've done for myself but I have um, also obviously added the deadlines I have that my university has given me. Um, status. In status you get the options to say it's done, it's upcoming, it's current or it's overdue. The overdue one terrifies me. I honestly look at that and I'm like just ready to cry. Um, I don't think I'll need that but I'm keeping it there in case I do need it because that would honestly, that would that would keep me on the ball if I was overdue with anything but um, so those are your little status options. We have a section for notes, we have a section for sources which I will go through. It's basically you can link things from this page to your timeline. That's what the sources is for. We have type. This is how you obviously get the drafts section as, or put things in the draft section as you mark them down as draft. You also have action. Those are the two ones that were chosen, that were given with the um, template. I added in other class because I wanted my other class deadlines to be on this timeline just so I could see them in obviously in relation to the uh, dissertation deadlines. Um, and then we have three sections for important dates. I don't see myself using this. I don't really think I have that many important dates that I would need to put into this, but in the event that I do, I will just obviously keep the, them there, but like, just be wary, these things might be getting deleted. <laughs> um, so now that we've went through these sections of the timeline, let's just go through what we have in the timeline, what I've put in my timeline. And like I said, this might look really full, this might look really scary to some people and I completely understand that. This is just because I like to have very specific deadlines. If I don't have deadlines, I'm not going to get things done. I will leave things to last minute just out of the fact that I've probably forgotten them. So I like to have a lot of deadlines. I like to see what things need to get when and I also like to give myself a lot of deadlines. So that's why this looks really full. Also the fact that I've added in my other assignments to this timeline. Um, obviously that's optional. All of this is optional. It is a template. You don't need to use all of it. You can delete whatever you want. It's very easy to uh, change, manipulate, whatever you need to do with it. Um, and do not panic. Please do not panic if you see this and think that when you go to do your dissertation or that when you're doing your dissertation that you're going to be very overwhelmed. I am just, I'm just that person. <laughs> so now that we went through that, I'll go through what I've put into the timeline. So the first thing we have is choosing a topic. Obviously that was last week's vlog. We discovered in last week's vlog that it took me a lot longer than I intended to choose a topic. So um, I did put in the dates that it ended up being instead of what I wanted it to be just because um, it, I filled this in after the fact. We have my proposal. So my proposal was obviously a deadline for the university and um, which I put in here and if we open up this little side peek section I have also linked in the bottom bit um, my proposal PDF form. Um, just because it's, uh, I reckon I'm probably going to need it when I go to write my dissertation and so it's good to have it easy access. So um, below that we have research and outlining that is in current because that's what we're doing this week and what we'll be doing for a very long time. Research and outlining, I've given myself from the 1st of October to the 1st of November. That, that it's, a, it's a little bit of a time. It's a long time and I don't know if I will need that much time but the thing is though is if I give myself extra time to complete that task then when I take less time I'm going to be ahead of the deadline instead of behind the deadline if I was to give myself like two weeks to do it. So that's why I've given myself a month because I'm not sure if I will need the month and I'm also not sure if I, I'm going to need less than the month but I know that a month is a safe bet. 
and so if I give myself that month then I, I'm not going to be stressed out um, when the, you know we're nearing the 1st of November and I'm just finishing off my research. So that is why I've given myself an excessive amount of time. I've done this quite a bit and I've also given myself the entire month of November, uh, December just like with no deadlines just so um, I can complete the first draft of the chapters because I've put them in down here um, as the like no like the whole of November like one a week we'll be working on these chapters but because I have all of December I know that I can take my time with those chapters because I am I do have all of uh, uh, December to do um so that is why I've given myself quite a bit of time for the research and outlining I don't know if I'll need that much time but I I know that I now have given myself that time if that makes sense so basically I'm just playing mental gymnastics with myself to keep myself from panicking that is what that's for. So below that we obviously have my first two assignments that are due um, for my other classes and I've also put them on under other class as a type um, and I have made the other class uh, type as a completely different colour so they stand out and I know that like they need to get done obviously but also the fact that they're not part of the dissertation so I can relax myself while also keeping on top of the deadline. So then after the assignments I have my introduction and like I've just said I've put these as like one kind of one section of the dissertation a week of November to complete the first draft um, but obviously I do have all of December as well to complete uh, the first draft if I need it but I do think this is quite reasonable. The only thing I am worried about and it's something I just noticed today is I also have my literature review due on the 25th of November so I am going to have to give myself maybe some time in between the um, second and third to try and complete the literature review maybe even the f roughly in between maybe just maybe just instead of doing this the chapter two I'll do the chap the, the literature review and then I'll do the chapter two when the chapter three is due but this is all things I can work out while I'm doing it and because I have all of December to do it I know that I'm going to be fine regardless. Um, and then obviously we have um, links to sources um, so I have my primary sources linked here because I know what the chapters I want to do are um, or at least how I want to break it down right now. I obviously still need to talk to my supervisor when I am assigned one um, to see when this is um, something that we'll be doing and um, see if this is like a reasonable thing to do um, which I think it is but my only concern is that there's a lot to say about night and day um, but I do think that the you know it's, it's going to work out fine. So um, chapter one is going to be night and day, chapter two is going to be Mrs Dalloway, chapter three is going to be to the lighthouse and if I click on these it will bring me to this little uh, section here which we are about to go into because this is actually a part of the sources sources and notes something the sources page up there which we'll go through after the timeline. So then as I've already been through the literature reviews due on the 25th of November then I have two more assignments due on the 28th and the 9th of November, uh, November and December and then I have said that I want to start revising between the 8th of January and the 31st of March um, which I th again it's very dramatic it's very excess Um, I do think I'll break this down more and maybe do like a first uh, draft revise, second draft revise and break that down but basically because the dissertation is actually due on the 21st of April if I revise it to its its depth, <laughs> to its core between the Jan January 8th and March the 31st I'm going to have plenty of time to get everything done. My camera battery is about to die so give me a minute. So then after that we have a sample chapter and um, they do say that you should have like a very like almost finished um, draft of your your sample chapter to submit just so your uh, supervisor of the university knows that you're doing okay and that it, just to give you as much detailed feedback as possible obviously if you submit them a first draft it's going to be a lot of detail there's going to be a lot of like big red flags to focus on so finishing a, a chapter as closely as possible is the good way to go so um that's during the 17th of february 2023 which is honestly disgusting how close that is Moving on, um, I've said that I want to try and do my conclusion between the 1st and the 7th of March. Obviously that kind of links into the revise. Um, I do want to try and revise as much as possible just so I know what my conclusion is. <laughs> Might sound a bit bizarre. The abstract is basically a very um, 
intellectual summary of your dissertation like what's your argument what's your topic what's like basically what are you trying to um make your reader understand or think about um at the end of your dissertation um and then we have the bibliography i'll probably be working on this the whole way through the dissertation obviously because i'll be adding in a lot of sources i'll be adding in a whole bunch of stuff so this will be an ongoing thing but i want it done obviously i want to make sure that it's like neat tidy everything's the way it needs to be um in this week which is the first to the eighth of april and then my title page is due on the 21st of april alongside the dissertation which <laughs> I wish the dissertation could be as quickly as me explaining it to you. I wish I could have explained this to you and we'd be at the end of the dissertation done and we can go on but unfortunately it's not. So that's the timeline section. That's basically my outline of my work schedule that I would like to get done throughout the um, whole dissertation prog process. Um, so we'll go on. I'll show you quickly the topic section. So these are the topics that I thought I was going to do. Obviously, whenever I discovered Virginia Woolf was when I decided I started working on my dissertation. So we had existentialism in the works of Dostoevsky and Woolf. We had family rules according to Woolf into the lighthouse and the waves. Um, I avoided this one because I am absolutely terrified of reading the waves. Um, we have trauma in disguise, post-war uh, trauma in Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. Um, this, I didn't think this was going to be enough because it is just the one book. So I didn't think I was going to be able to write enough on this. We have Unspoken Laws, Societal Rules in Virginia Woolf's Night and Day and Fyodor Dostoevsky. Is that how you spell Fyodor? I feel like that's that's right. So moving on, these next ones are some of the ones I was considering at the start of the week. Obviously minus this one here which is a bit of a random like, oh I like to do this but like no. Um, I was really kind of considering on these two topics, the concepts of time in Virginia Woolf's Night and Day and Mrs. Dalloway and existentialism and Night and Day and Mrs. Dalloway. So those are the two ones that I was really like, should I do these? Those were the ones I was at the start of last week deciding between and then it obviously ended up existentialism and Jungian philosophy in the works of Virginia Woolf. That's the one that we're going for. So in this little um, table, again, it was the template. Um, it was a dissertation template that I'm using. So you obviously have the name, which is basically the, the title of your potential dissertation topic. Um, you have a section to click whether or not it's your favourite. Is it feasible? Can you write 8,000 words on it? Can you write 10,000 words? However many words that you can write in your dissertation, like can you do that with this topic? Um, and then your research questions. Um, and then your status. So obviously all of these were abandoned because I'm currently doing existentialism and young name philosophy in the works of Virginia Woolf. Um, and then tags. But I'm pretty sure I made these up myself. So the ones I came up with was philosophy, social or internal. Obviously I'm doing philosophy as my um, dissertation topic. So that's the topics uh, page. Going back here, we go into sources and notes. This is what I filled in this week. This took a long time. This does not look like it took a long time, but oh my goodness, did it take forever. When you add a source and a note section to this page, um, it gives you obviously the title. I put little emojis next to all of mine just because it makes it fun to look at. Um, so then you choose whether or not it's a primary or a secondary source. Um, you put the author or the owner. A file I will show you in a minute what I did for this section um, and then what kind of type it is so um, I'm pretty sure I put essay in here but like I think the rest of them were part of the template so we have video book ebook essay or study like I said I'm pretty sure I put essay in myself um, and then you put related drafts so that's what we saw in the timeline and um, so basically um, I've only put in my primary sources because I know what chapters my primary sources are going into but once I have taken notes on my secondary sources and once I have a bit more of a detailed timeline, a uh, detailed outline of what my dissertation is going to look like, I will put in what my secondary source, where my secondary sources are going. So um, that's what I did for my primary sources. Um, I'll try and pick one that was an essay. This, oh, yes, this, this is an essay. Um, I put Obviously everything's the same except from obviously I've changed secondary source, uh, primary source to secondary source. Um, I don't have a related draft for this because I don't know where it's going to go yet. Um, and I've also, in file, I've linked a PDF to the essay. So um, in my university's library, obviously there's like an online option. So what I did was I downloaded the PDFs 
for my secondary sources and um, I've linked them all into their little topics here and to their uh, source pages. So obviously I have easy access to this and I can write notes into this um, little thing here which I have not done yet um, because I am going to be doing that this week and I will be um, working out how I want to structure my notes, like how I want to make my notes an easy way to gain access to. So um, I'm pretty sure that's everything on this Notion page. I feel like we've been here for a while. Right, so that is my Notion page. That is everything I have set up for my dissertation going into the researching process and get, I guess going into the note taking process. Um, I may add to this, I may take away from this, I may change this as the time goes on. I'm just, uh, what I've used so far is what I know I'm going to need. Um, and obviously I've given myself quite a bit of extra space, quite a bit of extra time for everything I like. I like to not be stressed. It's a, it's a really fun thing when you're on top of things and you're not stressed. But anyway, that is all for this week's vlog. I feel like we haven't done a lot, but at the same time, I really went into this week thinking that we'll be preparing for the literature review. And then when I realized the literature review wasn't due until the 25th of November and that I'd have other assignments to do before that, I kind of just focused this week on outlining and planning, which now that I have a very, um, well, a lot more detailed outline than I did at the beginning of the week and obviously last week. I honestly feel so much better about going into the dissertation. I feel like a lot more clear. I feel like I know what I'm doing. I feel like I know which direction we're going. Um, and I'm looking forward to going through this now. Um, so, but I guess that is everything. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know by liking the video. If you have any questions about dissertations, about my dissertation, about university, anything like that, let me know in the comments. If you have anything specific you want to see in these vlogs going forth, um, anything you want to see less of, anything you want to see more of, uh, let me know that in the comments. Obviously we've had a little bit of a bump in the road in terms of uploading these vlogs, but starting next week we will be back on track. You will have a vlog that was filmed the same week that, I, that um, I'm uploading it. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I guess, I guess that's all. I guess I'll see you next week for another video.